my, uh, my organization creates markets for liquidated goods uh, to liquidate surplus and uh, unneeded assets that are being disposed of by large corporations, the government. Liquidity Services is a nearly all virtual platform and the VADC, the notion of the VADC really tied in well to that. It, it prevented us from having additional hardware in the data centers, which we have an allergy to. I can't say that we were stressing the old load balancers. So I think that the new ones, uh, the primary benefit we see from the VADC platform is, is the virtualization. The primary benefit is the ability to spin up these virtual instances for us because load was never the issue um, necessarily. The VADC is going to be limited by the number of uh, load balancers. The appliance is going to be limited by the number of load balancers we can use on it. So for liquidity services, this was a scalability issue. Our infrastructure needs to grow at a rapid pace as we acquire businesses and create new markets. We scale um, exchange, we scale our web applications, uh, test and dev you know, are going to grow. So all of these things need to be flexible and all of these things are addressed by having the ability to spin up a new VADC on demand. The biggest difference we've noticed after deploying the Redware solutions is the ease and nonchalance with which we can spin up a new load balancer. Um, you don't hear the term make a new load balancer or make a new VIP for that uh, very often. It's, it's something that um, can get bandied about now in a virtualized environment with much more ease. So I would say it's a, it's a flexibility of um, Probably the biggest difference we've noticed is the flexibility when implementing a new solution uh, internally.